welcome back guys so in this video we're going to continue with the blocking out and then uh yeah we just continue <laughs> so one thing i want to do is start working on this handle in this block out stage and we're gonna we're not gonna worry at all about a lot of this detail it's gonna be relatively simple so let's go to create sketch select the 2d background and what i want to do is use the line tool and i'll just start to outline this reference and I'll start through this body here so I'll go from around here go straight down and I'll go down even further excluding this trigger and trigger guard area we'll go straight here then we'll bring it over to the right right click hit OK and let's bring this down a little lower. So we'll say about right here. Then we'll go to create drop down, select arc, and then we'll choose three point arc. And that will allow us to select this point here and transition over here. Nice and subtle. I want to leave a little space to make it right there. And from this point, we can choose this point and bring it down to about here where it starts to transition again. And notice I'm leaving a little bit of space in between and that's because this is in perspective, right? So you have to just account for that. And what I'll do from here is choose this point and I'll bring it down um, going a lot further than the body entails on the reference because this is in perspective. So we know it's a straight transition in, right? So we'll go from here to somewhere about here. Yeah, that looks, looks like a really good transition right here. So we'll leave that. And what I could do is use the line tool. And if you don't see it here, remember create drop down, select line or the hotkey L. And we'll just draw a horizontal line going from here to here. And this is so we have some perspective, right? So let's go back to create arc, three point arc, choose this point to about here. We'll choose this point, go back up to the top to somewhere around here. It looks like it starts to dip off. And I'll leave this about here. I don't want to have this too far out because we extend it the front and we don't want to extend the back as well because that would make it twice as big. So from here, we'll choose this point to where it starts to round off. So I'll round this off a bit. From this point to about here. Remember, we want to go through this. Um, existing body and maybe that's a little too far so I'll hit cancel I'll see if I can bring this out a little further right click go up to repeat and I'll just bring this up a bit right there that's perfect and we'll just connect these two we'll use the line tool connect this point to here now that we have this shape we can right click hit OK and we should have a closed profile and what I'll do from here is select this area, press pull, go to the front view. And we want to have this out, not too far, but somewhere around here. So about uh, 1.0 should be good. Change it from cut to new body. And let's change it from one side to symmetric. And if any point we feel this is too thick, we can always change it, right? And I actually do want to dial this back a little bit more. So around here, around 0 0.9 should be good. Then we'll hit OK. And at any point, we could always go back to the timeline and then right click on this feature and we can edit it and make it thicker or smaller as we see fit. So what I want to do first is you know, uh, round off this area here because we want to trigger this whole area to be on the same um, fillet um, measurement. So what we'll do is go to modify fillet, 
we'll choose this corner and this corner. So it should be the two front ones. And we can go back to the right view and we can reference this. So somewhere around here, looks good. Let's see, this looks a little too big. This looks too big because we want to have a nice smooth transition. That looks okay. It, it feels kind of big to me. So I'm satisfied with the fillet. So I'll hit okay. But what I'll also do is go back to this feature where we extrude it and I'll just edit it a bit more and make it a little thinner. So I'll dial this back into somewhere around here. 0 0.823, hit okay. And that looks a lot better. I feel a lot safer with this measurement. So what I can do is select this surface because we can't select this surface and create a sketch on it because it's round, right? So we'll select this surface, create sketch. So once we create our sketch, we can use the line tool. We'll go from, you know, this corner here and we'll go straight across horizontally. Right click hit OK. I'll have this line here and I'll control C, control V, copy paste it, bring it down to about here. Right click hit OK, use the line tool once again and we want to just drop this down. All right. And then we can trim off this line because we no longer need it. We just wanted that to reference the point. Now what we can do is um, basically connect these two. So we'll use the create drop down. We'll select arc, three point arc. We can start to round this off. Now that we have that, we can finish sketch and we'll just slice this. So we can go to modify, split body, select our body. For the splitting tool, we'll choose this line we just created, hit okay. Now we can remove this body by right clicking on it, go to remove. Now we have that shape we want. Now we can start to round off this back face, uh, the back edges, and then we'll do the front edges as well. So first let's hit F to enter fillet mode, or you can always go to modify, drop down, select fillet that way. Let's choose all these. Now we'll go back to the right view. And we'll just pull this to round this, round this off. That looks good right about here. So we can hit okay. Now we want to do the same for this side here in the front. So we'll hit F to enter fillet mode, select our edges. And we could select these two, but it might give us some errors and we just don't want those just yet. So uh, we actually never want them, but let's, Round this off here in the front. That looks like a smooth transition right about here. Nice. Let's hit okay. Now we can grab these front two to round these off this way. Hit okay, then we'll round off this bottom We get a nice manufactured line here. That looks good right about there. We could bring it up a little higher. Right around here. That's great. And we're not going to worry about the major seams here. We'll do these once we hit the major details. So we finished the handle, guys. And I think this is a good place to end this video. Everything looks nice. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.